What's up guys, Bearded Boater here and we're going to be reviewing today the Garmin Echo Map 73 SV. Is it worth it? Let's find out. The Garmin 73 SV, the newest model, features a 7 inch screen that is also touch screen. These buttons over here are just for presets and that's for zooming in and out. Of course your power button. Everything else is done through the touch screen. Overall I've been satisfied with the touch screen itself. It's worked pretty well even with dew or a little bit of water on there it still picks up just fine. So no worries about whether or not the touch screen is going to be great for you or not. In the package you'll end up getting the unit here itself, the mounting base, uh, and these two are detachable. There's just a little clip back here. You grab, pull that screen right off. And then, of course, your power cable and the transducer cable, which I got mounted to the trolling motor right here. Uh, right here is your home screen. One of the best features that I think is why you should really look at getting a unit like this, either the 73, 93, any of the Echo Maps, is the maps itself. They are fantastic let's go ahead and bring that up so i'm out here on the susquehanna river which does not have any pre-made maps for it, at least in this area if i were to run down river a little bit uh, there's already pre-made maps but right now i am generating my own mapping right here so thanks to quick draw contours which i have turned on all of this right here is all that i've been running up and down the river here and so I'm recording my own maps here and they'll be saved. You can upload these to the quick draw contour maps uh, that Garmin has. Uh, and you can also download them off of there. Using your smartphone, you can send them right to this unit here off of your smartphone. Flipping back to the home page here, probably the next thing that you're going to be really interested in is the sonar here. So here's the sonar options that you have. You have traditional, clear view, and side view. And... Uh, if you're into ice fishing, uh, there's a flasher there for you as well. These other ones here are all options of a combination of any of those. And I have some of them already pre-set up. Quick selection buttons over here on the side. So setting one, we got side view going on. There's your clear view, and there's your traditional. Let's go ahead and find a nice little rocky patch and start running down the river so you can see what your side view and your down view uh, will end up looking like. We flipped over here to the other side of the river where it's a little bit rockier. If you can see all these black specks that are showing up in here, that's a rocky bottom. And every black speck is actually the shadow that the sonar is kind of casting on each one of those rocks. So the rock is right in front of each one of those black specks. Now there's no big boulders in this section. Further down the river there will be. So there's we know there's a small rocky bottom. You can see down here in the clear view, which is great for seeing structure, but not for seeing fish, uh, which is what you want to be looking at over here at your traditional view if you're looking for fish. And any of these small black dots is just debris floating in the, in the water. A fish would be showing up much more prominent. So we can, like right, right there could possibly be a fish. If you notice, we don't see it over here, but we see it right here. That could be a small fish right there, right off the bottom. Flipping through some of our different preset menus right here, uh, you can set it up that your side view can be on the bottom. You can have it just in a little corner. Right here, we see that the maps that are loading up here real quick. There they are. So you can have, you can assign these however you want, move it left to right, up and down, all those kind of fun things uh, to set to your liking. While my boat does not have connectivity for really any of these features, uh, you can go to a gauges setup. And if you have a compatible engine, it'll show you your RPMs, your fuel level, your boat trim, uh, coolant temperature, battery voltage, oil temperature, any of those kind of fun things. But your, your boat must be compatible. If you have some accessories that you can hook up to it, uh, that might be a pretty good winning feature for you, especially if you were to mount this at your console. So if you're looking at maybe getting yourself a Garmin Echo Map, either in the 73, the 93, any of those, uh, the first couple models are all pretty similar in features. 
Uh, and you're wondering, are they worth it? I would 100% say absolutely they're worth it. Has really helped in, in fishing in multiple ways, but if even if you're just wanting a couple of the features, like being able to use the maps and being able to just see your depth or see what kind of bottom is underneath the view, whether it's rock or mud or grass and all those kind of things, uh, if you're sighting fishing, a lot of those fe features are not going to be helping you. If you were doing anything like five foot and deeper, uh, this unit can really begin to shine out and help you uh, figure out what's underneath of you. Are there boulders? Is it just small rocks? With that side view, you can really use that to, uh, especially if you have it rigged up on the back of the boat. I only have one rigged up at the moment, but... Uh, you can drive around looking at that side view, look for big boulders out here on the river. There's a bunch of them. You just got to find them. The shallow ones are easy to find. You can see them. When they're 10 feet deep, you can't see them. But if you can find them on that sonar, uh, could be a game changer for your fishing plan and be able to help you really start finding some of those deeper fish. These units can normally be found, uh, I think in about the six or seven hundred dollar range. If you can't maybe afford that, just wait for uh, some of your big retailers such as Bass Pro to put them on sale. They normally go on sale two to three times a year and uh, normally like you can get this unit for about 500. I was able to actually pick mine up used but like new still in the box, still had the tape on the screen and uh, I think I picked that up for about 350 used. So. Search around on your marketplaces, on your eBay, Craigslist, whatever, and uh, even even look at some of the Facebook fishing groups and put a post on there saying that you're looking for one and maybe someone will want to sell you one. But uh, for for the $700 range, I'd say they're still worth it, but you know it might take you a little bit of time to be able to save up to get there. $500 range, I think, is actually extremely on point if you're able to find one used for the four even three hundred dollar range if you really get lucky uh pick that baby up as soon as you can because if you don't someone else is going to these units are fantastic they're compatible with pan optics uh, so you can upgrade later if you want they can be synced with other units once you know i only have one echo map on my boat at the moment but I get another one someday, I can pair those babies up and uh, you drop a point on one, it'll show the point on the other. Amount of technology that is packed into these Echo Maps is honestly quite astounding. And to be able to get that for 500 bucks when they're on sale, absolutely awesome. If you're able to pick one up cheaper, awesome. If you want one now and you got the 700, I'd still say go for it, you know. Unless there's a holiday coming up real soon, when you're looking at buying one, maybe hold off a little bit. If you can save 200 bucks, why not? But six, 700 bucks, I'd still say it's worth it. So Garmin Echo Map, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We're just out here fishing. Thought I'd do a quick review of the Echo Map and uh, I've been using it all morning here. We, we've landed a few fish in the boat. I say we, there's actually no one. I must have a mouse in my pocket. I, I was able to land a few fish in the boat today, and I'm watching that thing all the time while I'm fishing. So anything above five foot deep of water, I'm watching that screen just as much as I'm watching the water. So hope that helps, guys. Hope that helps you make a decision if you're wanting to buy one or not. My recommendation, go for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.